Get off the right wheel. Wow. Who likes our new products that have been launched already? Good stuff. Awesome. Look at your neighbor and go, shh. All right. That works every time, doesn't it? Well, welcome to Atlantic City again. Give yourselves a round of applause for making the sacrifice <laughs> and the commitment to make it to the national convention once again. This is my 34th national convention in 12 years in the business. And uh, I feel like it's still like day one. The energy, the excitement, uh, the opportunity that lies before us, all huge, humongous. You can't quantify it. You just got to get your peace. Does that make sense? Yeah. And you're at the right place at the right time to get your peace, especially a piece of a sizable pie. This CBD thing is just getting started. We've, we were early to the ball, but I mean, think I don't know where the numbers are right now, but the numbers last year ended up at 700 million. We, we got to get to 22 billion. Actually, the numbers have been adjusted. It's 23.8 billion. $23.8 billion will be generated over the next two years and uh, three months. Anybody want a piece of it? <laughs> and then it's supposed to hit that number and sustain in terms of revenue generated in the CBD industry. That is crazy. And I am absolutely excited about getting a piece of that pie. Anybody with me? Yes. Great. So what I have the pleasure of uh, sharing today is the art of the quick start, getting a new rep started. It's probably the single most important step in our process outside of sharing the opportunity and onboarding a new representative, okay? So a lot of people say, well, how do you do it? How do you build a substantial business? What's the marketing strategy? What's the strategy? What's the game plan? The game plan is to master the fundamentals, okay? You'll have a tremendous amount of success in this opportunity if you just master the fundamentals. And the fundamentals, unfortunately, are boring. Everybody likes the you know, motivational stuff and the get you pumped stuff, but you can be pumped up and doing all the wrong things. You got to be pumped up and know what to do systematically to create duplication. And duplication is what I think is like not happening to the, to the tune that we need it to happen. Okay? Somebody coming on board, they're point sticking, they're, they're getting promoted, they're, getting, they're moving through the comp plan, and, that, and by default, you're moving through the comp plan. Who wants more of that to happen? Yes. And so our marketing plan, believe it or not, is sharing the presentation. You might want to write that down. It might sound like, what do you mean? That's why Mark, yes, sharing the presentation at least twice a day, the same way you brush your teeth. Hopefully, that's twice a day. <laughs> I guarantee you, if you could just expose two people to the actual presentation, the opportunity video from that app, if you don't have PDN, Get on PDN, because you want to utilize the app. People are, are on the go. People are busy. And you are busy as well, right? While you're working on your long-term fortune here, you got to pay the bills now. Typically, you have a job at this point in your journey. And so in order to get to that promised land where you could live free and, and, and make a, enough money to pay all your bills on the 15th of the month and save more money than you're accustomed to, to saving in a year's time on the 15th of the month as well, you're going to have to get to a place where you've mastered the marketing plan, you've mastered the fundamentals. Fair enough? OK, so the, the marketing plan is the presentation, showing it over and over again, twice a day. What, ha what happens when 30 days go by, a whole month's gone by, and you've exposed two people to that presentation every single day? How many people got, got exposed? 60. You might have to peak 10 people a day to get to two people to actually watch it. Because people don't know what they don't know. 
they automatically think you're up to something that's not good or whatever. You got to go. You got to get to the two that are gonna watch it. Does that make sense? Sixty people, and out of sixty people, ten percent of those sixty individuals will transact. Now, you're probably thinking, well, that's a lot of work. <laughs> to me, work, hard work, is getting up early to go to fight rush hour to build somebody else's empire for eight hours, then fight to get home in rush hour to start your life. That's a lot harder, right? So that being said, at the end of every presentation, there's a few outcomes that you're looking for, OK? And this is why I say it's the marketing plan. You're looking for a business partner, and you're looking for what? <laughs> Customer. Worst case scenario, you're looking for a referral, right? Worst case scenario, you're not walking away with nothing. Referral is free, right? So you, all, you definitely want to make sure that they feel that when they're walking away, if, God forbid, they're not a partner or a customer, that they, they definitely will give you referrals. And once you've mastered that, you'll always have somebody in front of the, op the opportunity. It gets easier to peak 10 people a day. It gets easier to break the ice and get to the next person in get the next person in front of the opportunity. Does that make sense? So that's the marketing plan because at the end of the day, we just need partners and, and customers, right? Sound like a plan? Okay, so you got to build up that confidence. Now understand this. Now if 10% transact, you got six people joining your team on a monthly basis. You only need eight people properly positioned to hit ED. You need 12 EDs to hit SVP. Are you getting this? 12 EDs properly positioned, you'll have your points and your structure, and, and then a redundant line of national director, just in case one of your legs fall apart. Does that make sense? See, I, I don't build for the plan. I build for redundancy. A lot of you guys don't know what that means yet until you've had a, a, to rebuild something. And typically, in, in your early part of your journey, friends and family will get you to ET and ED, and then it's the real world. <laughs> and guess what? Friends and family don't hang out long. They bail out faster than strangers. Because they feel like they're doing you a favor. Really, they should be focused on their business. Does that make sense? So that being said, now we, we understand um, mastering the fundamentals, uh, making sure that the, the, the marketing plan is being done, not only by, your, by yourself, but by your team. Now, this is when it gets interesting. How many people have a, somebody on their team in the room with them or in, at the nationals with them, right? That's good. Because now, if you're leading by example and putting at least six people in, whether you're an IMR, ET, or ED, but you have one or two people doing the same thing, right? Well, now you got, let's just say you got two other partners along with yourself. Everybody's putting six people in the business. You know, that's, now we're talking. That's like about 18 people. That's, that's, that's a lot of production for an ET or ED. Does that make sense? And you're triggering the open line bonuses. And by the way, open line bonuses and caps, that accounts for about 80% of your income at the ET and ED position. Because you have to climb the ranks in order to get a higher percentage on your residual income. Does that make sense? OK, so I'm saying all of this to say that the most important part of the whole process is setting up that new person the right way. If you don't set them up the right way, if you don't set them up for success, you're setting them up for what? Failure. Failure. And it's hard to go back now and find somebody new to work with when you had somebody in the system already. But time and time again, guess what? We don't make enough time to get that person on board properly. Too many people are coming on board and not hearing from their upline or not hearing from the person that signed them up in the first week, two weeks, 30 days in the business. And that's just not, a, not acceptable. Does that make sense? Because here's the thing. If we want duplication to occur, right, we got to get to the, we, we got to hit the sweet spot. The sweet spot when somebody's getting on board 
is about four days. Because there's this thing called life. You're excited in your first four days in the business. But every, every day, you're 25% less interested because you're, you're realizing that this takes work. This isn't a lottery ticket opportunity. So what happens when you times four days at 25%, you're 0% interested on day five to really put your best foot forward in this opportunity, especially if somebody hasn't reached out to you in those four days? Because now the dishes have piled up. The homework is piled up. You know, you, you, you're already tired from fighting traffic to and from work, right? You might have, you, you might, now somebody, now, now here's the problem, okay? Somebody comes on board, and typically there's a lot of pressure on day 30 for them to do everything. Now, they might get the person to say, you know what, I'll be a customer, but I get paid on Friday. But... Friday is five days removed from their 30th day. That's why we got to, when the block's open, we got to get out there and make it happen right, uh, right away. The hourglass flips over the second that you get a RIN number. Does that make sense? And you're going to need all that time. Especially if the benchmark, and write this down, the benchmark for everybody coming into the business Five IMRs and 25 customer points. That's the benchmark. And so there's a few other things that can occur. You got people that uh, they come on board, they want to come on board, and you know I don't want to build the, the, the downline. Everybody that has that you know, bright idea, I don't want to build a downline, I just want to sell CBD. Who's getting a lot of that recently? Right? What's going to happen is you, you're probably going to say, okay, well, you got to ask them questions. Okay, I could put you in as an affiliate if that's the case. But then what happens if somebody wants to join because they, they found out about CBD and oxygen through you? Then you're going to have to upgrade, right? Or I could put you in as an affiliate, right? But now what? You got to go buy product. Right? So now, do you want to pay $500 dollar for dollar for product? Or do you want to pay $4.99 and get $750 worth of product? Hello? Because I got news for everybody that thinks they're going to sell CBD just off their website, come in with no points. <laughs> it doesn't happen. We're in a sample system right now. You can't explain how PDQ makes your hurt ankle feel. You can't explain how uh, the gummies will help you go to sleep tonight. <laughs> you can't explain that. What do you have to do? You have to what? You got to sample it. Let the product speak for itself. And let me tell you, our product is the Rolls Royce of CBD products out there. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Every single category. And let me tell you, there's companies out there that are beating us that just have CBD oil. Beating us in revenue, and we have a mature line of products. We got so many different oxygen SKUs right now. And we're selling out of the, the, the mints, and, and, and we didn't even get to the main product, which is released tomorrow morning. There's other companies looking at us and saying, how are they doing this? We're light years ahead of anyone trying to release a PDQ spray. So we have the Rolls Royce vehicle, but we're looking for someone to really drive it. And the, the first step when you get in the car, you, you, to move the car, you got to hit the what? Hitting the gas is basically making sure you're putting somebody in the system correctly. Does that make sense? So let's get to the, uh, you know, it's a two-page quick start game plan. Everybody familiar with that? Everybody that joins your team in the first four days should be walked through this, and they deserve at least half an hour to an hour of your time. 
everybody that joins your team. Who? Everybody. everybody. And if you're not setting them up for success, you're setting them up for what? Yeah. Hello? And is, is there anybody in this room right now that hasn't seen this, this before? This right here. Stand up. I just want to take a count. You've never seen this before? Never seen it? You've never seen it before? You've never seen the, the, the two-page game plan? See, this is, I mean, they should be, everybody should at least have seen this before. Was anybody on the corporate call on September, I think, 2nd or 4th, when I went over this? Okay? So many people called me and was like, I need the recording. Because <laughs> they didn't hear how to really launch somebody strong in the business. So let's just go over the fundamentals. It's a little blurry. But this is uh, in our, you know, how do we get to the document? Does anybody know how to get to the document? What's the go-to website for our documents? I love it. And if you didn't know, <laughs> exactly. My.5links.com should be bookmarked. It should be bookmarked, added as a favorite to all your browsers, okay, including your phone. Very important. You click on documents, you search for quick start, a game plan, and you're going to see this pop up. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you clear your, your customer points, okay? And that's very important. Your customer points for at least the ET position. But really, the goal in your first 30 days is to accumulate 25 or more customer points, and you want to hold. Look at your neighbor and say, 25. <laughs> Look at your other neighbor and say, and hold. and hold. Is there anybody in this room that invested to come to the national, got the hotel, made the transportation investment, that does not have 25 customer points right now personally in their business. Please stand up. 25 personal customer points. Please stand up. If you, no, no, not if you have it. If you don't have it. If you don't have at least 25 personal customer points in your business right now, you don't have it. Stand up. Too many people have stood up. Okay? And I didn't put you out there like it's a bad thing. I'm trying to uh, it, it awaken you. Okay? Because if you don't have 25 customer points, do you think that the person that you're getting started will ever get to 25 customer points? No. So what we have to do is eliminate these barriers. These conversations, how many people have conversations with themselves in their head? <laughs> Do you know what it takes in a traditional business? This is a real business, guys. I've made millions of dollars. I can say that in a, in a training session, OK? It's a real business. And in real business, there's, there's going to be some overhead, yes or yes. Anybody in the room ever think about opening up a traditional brick and mortar location? Anybody? You got to pay the rent. You got to pay the employees. You got to pay the taxes, the utilities. You got to pay everybody first before you pay yourself. And, and let me tell you, it's a lot cheaper, OK? to run a business like this. Now, the problem is most people don't see this as a real business because it's not, you can't touch it. It's not brick and mortar. They don't respect it because you can't touch it. You understand what I'm saying? But this is actually a better, a better system. Let me explain. How much, if you're paying 49, let's call it $50 for platinum services for the year. How much money did you spend on your website? 600 bucks. 
600 bucks, right? 600 bucks in the commercial real estate might get you something in terms of rent the size of a bathroom. Especially in a, in a high traffic area, yes or yes? And that's per month, not for the year. Are you seeing what, I, uh, what I'm saying now? So when you have that as a perspective, okay, you say, okay, $50 a month is not that bad. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, I work with people where they are. There's people that have never owned a business that have come into the organization, and the first thing that they complain about is the $50 a month. <laughs> the $50 a month is four customer points. The $50 a month is a tax write-off. The $50 a month gives you your virtual office, your PDN, your, your legacy app, your accounting, your, how about the Platinum Discount Network, which is a whole other website that gives you all of your discounts on things that you're going to spend money on anyway. Right. Yeah. Travel, movie tickets. You can make up in savings what it costs for PDN. Oh, and by the way, once you get five people on PDN, your, your monthly payment goes away? I'm trying to tell you that, you know, you got to work with people where they are. You got to show value for every penny that's being spent in this opportunity. Did I just build some value up for PDN just now? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, you know, we get like, I think, Close to 10 websites? Close to 10 websites because you get PDN? You got erewards.shop forward slash your rent number. You got y.oxygen.com forward slash your rent number. You got y.captivita.com. You got vo.fivelinks.com. You got fivelinks.net forward slash. You got so many different websites. And you're about to get another one tomorrow. You got daily dimes. Think about all, if, imagine if you, had a, you were starting a business. Just to pay the hosting for all of those 10 domain names, would that be more than $50 a month? Hello? So you got to show the value, because that's going to be something that you are going to encounter. But we work with people where they are. Now, people that are accustomed to owning their own business, oh, it's only $50 a month? I'll pay that for the year. They'll pay their website for the whole year up front. Oh, by the way, when you pay for your website up front for the year, it's $500 versus $600. It's like getting two months for free. A lot of people don't know that. So let's, now that we've gotten over that barrier, OK? That's four points towards your what? Towards your 25. When you're enrolling somebody, you got, in my opinion, you got to enroll them with a bundle. We just went over why. At 249, you come in empty handed. But if you make this commitment and you come on board with a $4.99 bundle or a $9.99 bundle, they waive the $2.49. And then they give you $250 extra in product at the $4.99. If you sold everything in that package, you'll have more than $750 bucks in, your, in your pocket. And then $9.99, if you sold everything in that bundle, guess what? You have $1,500 worth of product. And they waive the $2.49. Who in their right mind would come in at $2.49? So you know what you gotta you gotta leverage that, and you gotta have the posture to leverage it. But more importantly, you have to have had done it yourself. If you don't do it yourself, if you don't subscribe to a bundle, it's hard to have somebody else subscribe to a bundle because we have those conversations in our head. But real business individuals. Oh, give me the thousand dollar bundle. Oh, I need four banners. Oh, I need, I mean, they're spending two, three thousand dollars a pop coming into this deal because they know for me to reinvent the wheel and start a CBD business, 
That's turnkey would cost me tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Anybody having an aha moment yet? So you got to come on, you got to be, you got to be comfortable. Stop thinking it's your money that's being spent. <laughs> when somebody's presented the opportunity, and let's just say because you might have had a hard time coming on board at 249 or it was a, 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 a you know, 499 is, you don't see it for you. It doesn't mean that somebody else, they'll pay even more. Does that make sense? Stop making buying decisions for your prospects. Write that down. Stop making buying decisions for your prospects. When somebody comes to the front of the room and says, I'm in. Here's my application, or give me an application, I'm in. It's game on. I love it when somebody comes to me and says, here's my credit card. What do I have to do? That is not the person that you say, OK, well, there's an affiliate for $9 $99. And we can upgrade you later if you get started at $249 now, like I did. That is not the time to drop the ball. It's time to set them up for success. And to me, there's no better way to be successful than to come in with 25 customer points. So four points for your website, 17 points for one month. It'll last on the books, right, for the 499 bundle. And if you come on board at 999, guess what? The 17 points last for two months. 17 plus four is what? 21. Are we getting closer? Yeah. We're getting closer to 25. So we're getting closer to 25. Now, most of us live in what we call either a home, apartment, a condo, yes or yes. Is there something that's on your monthly budget already that you can now get from your business? Coffee, tea, gas, electric, home alarm, TV. I mean, you got to get away from, that, from the crowd in your head, a bunch of people looking like you in your head saying, I don't know. Should we switch over to the alarm system? Last time I, yes. Because if you can't convince yourself, how are you going to convince somebody else? Two points for home alarm. Oh, you take care of mom? Two points for her home alarm. That's another four, four points, right? Four plus 21 is what? Hello? And yes, now you're getting into the, OK, well, when you, now you got to, there's a box. When you're signing somebody up, there's a box. It's a default to subscription box. You have to check that box, because what's going to happen on day 31? The 17 points go away if you sign up at 499. Are you seeing how that works? So imagine you got the 25 points, your bonus hasn't been deposited in your account yet, and then 17, 17 of the 25 points drop. Anybody see a problem? Because if everybody's points are dropping, then there's no duplication. There's no accumulation of points to get to your position, to get to your higher pin level so that you can make more what? Money. Last I checked, we all want to make more what? Money. So on my team, it's the standard. $4.99 or $9.99. PDN, check the box. OK, what can we flip in your house? And then here's the thing, you got to subscribe to a bundle. Because once that bundle comes on board and we are teaching discipline, discipline is what makes this work. Too many people are getting their bundle, selling the bundle, and not putting the money back on the card that Five Links is going to charge next month. 
And if you don't do that, it becomes a bill. If you do that, then you get another subscription bundle. You now have product in other, another group of people's hands. And before you know it, your customer base is starting to what? And you move it from one group to the next group. It's not your attention doesn't go to mom every month from your subscription bundle. It goes to different people. Does that make sense? Your samples, they go to different people. If somebody's on their third sachet of pain cream from you, they need to be a customer. <laughs> Y'all being too nice? <laughs> so, very important. So now you understand. Now you, you, your, your subscription is not a bill. It's the same money that's cash flow in your business. You seeing how that works? Yes. Now, on day 31, though, when you drop to a subscription, what, how many points do you get for the subscription versus your enrollment bundle? Yes. It's 10 versus 17. Right? So there's a seven-point seven discrepancy there. Those seven points you got to be mindful. You got to make that up with customers from that first bundle. You got to convert. Are you understanding this? Yeah. And once you do this, you'll be back to 25 or more points. Now, let's just say you're not having enough success by the, by the next month. You still have product left, right? Now, it's very important for you to have home parties as well. A home party, PBR, whatever you want to call it, guess what? Those are now home parties. PBRs, pop-up shop, where you may be going over the information, but also you're sampling and selling product as well. A lot of us in this room have not had a PBR, or let's call it a pop-up shop party with product in your home for sale after the PBR. A lot of us have not done that yet, yes or yes? Let's be on. In order for me to be effective today, we got to be honest with ourselves. We have to be truthful in our reality. Because success is, is a real thing. It's not a maybe. It's not a fantasy. It's not something I'm going to have down the line. It's not a lottery ticket. Some of us in this room need this to work. In the real. Because you're going to lose your support system soon if you keep on spending money coming at nationals and the family's like, where's the money coming in? Your cheerleaders become, <laughs> there's some tension there. So you not only have to do this for you, but you got to show and prove. Look at your neighbor and say, you need to show and prove. So that's how you're going to get. Now, here's the thing. If the subscription bundle is starting to be taxed, and you might want to decrease that subscription bundle. We have a $99 bundle now. We have other bundles. Does that make sense? And with the website tomorrow that they're dropping, you're going to be able to stop a, a Synergy bundle, go back to a pain bundle. You're going to be able to change those bundles up when you want them to change versus it being the same thing over and over again. So we're creating a system to accommodate your needs and accommodate the right behavior that needs to be had in a product-based company, which is what we're in now. Are you getting this? OK? So it's very important. So now, let's just say the subscriptions are still tough. God forbid, they shouldn't be tough. This should, we should be living in this $22 billion moment. People are looking for CBD. On my way down here on the radio, it's like, stop by for your free CBD sample. Anybody hear that on the radio? I couldn't believe it. So if they're giving, if that's the, if if they're on the radio paying to give free samples, why are we <laughs> not giving away free samples? That's another thing that they're going to launch soon is uh, digital sampling through PDN, through our legacy app. It's another reason why everybody needs to be on PDN. OK? Imagine you meet somebody, and they're, they're like, yeah, I'm interested in getting a sample. You don't have a physical sample on you right now. And wham, you just send it to them digitally from your phone. It'll be in the mail. 
Are you kidding me? I didn't have the, that type of technology. We have a best in class team working on some solutions to change our lives. Everything helps, yes or yes? yes? All right, so let's just say subscriptions are a problem. You gotta go, you gotta go after some services. That's when you default to some services because services, they're re that's true residual. The points will stick on the books. Home security is a contract, three years. Those points will stay on the books. So as you're coming on board with product, okay, you, as you wean down, you might say, okay, $200 is too much. Let me get, let me get uh, you know, 10 points in, in services by month number three so that I can reduce my overhead in my business because now I have some people on a service that's reoccurring. And by the way, when you get a customer, the customer needs to be, you need to have the posture to be like, you need to be on auto ship. Auto ship should not be a taboo word. It should be a convenience. Let me tell you, if somebody's in pain, <laughs> they'll pay whatever it takes. And let me tell you, PDQ and our intense rub, best in class products for pain. Tons of testimonies. And if you just go around, like, uh, this is my bag right here. And I, I'm armed with PDQ. Right here, I just, boom, you're getting sprayed. <laughs> you got to lead by example, yes or yes. yes and give testimonies. The gummy bears I posted this morning, Man, had the best sleep of my life because of this gummy bear. Posted the gummy bear package. Instantly, I got like 50 likes, and it was after midnight. Or no, this, yeah, it was this morning. It was, it was early this morning, but I posted the, the gummies last night. Are you getting this? You got to do these things to have. And then let me tell you about the mints. Those are conversation pieces. Anybody ever open a mint and everybody in the room wants a mint? Before you give it to me, you guys like, this has CBD in it, though. <laughs> CBD, really? I was interested in CBD. Boom, it's an it's a icebreaker. It's a conversation piece. <laughs> Encouragement. <laughs> 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 so you guys are OK with what it takes to get to 25 and hold now? Yeah. You, ready, you ready to? Get anybody in the room, not at 25 points, ready to get to 25 points tonight? Ready to get your subscription today? You have to be able to look at this from a perspective of real and, and truth. Otherwise, we're going nowhere fast. Because you're not going to duplicate 25 points when you don't have 25 points. Does that make sense? All right, so now let's go to the next thing. Everybody needs to get their two recruits as soon as possible. And what you need to do in the first 48 hours is help that person get the first one. In the first week, everybody should have at least one rep. And I'm at a point right now that imagine if your team just got one rep a month. If you had 10 people on your team and everybody got one rep a month, your team is doubling in size every month. Does that make sense? But in order for you to have a sticky team, a team that's going to be here, you got to get them what? Paid. 25 and hold, and then you're looking for your five. Five across your front line, right? Two of which will get you the first bonus of 250 Now, it's not 250 plus the $1,000. The 250 is part of the $1,000 payout. A lot of people get confused in the early time. We have some wishful thinkers, right? Okay, I'm going to hit 250 then I'm going to get the $1,000 bonus for the three more reps. No, it's 1000 in total. Okay? So we got to manage expectations. And so the first two reps need to go in the system ASAP in route to getting your five reps for the $1,000 bonus. And we have to duplicate that behavior. That should be the gold standard. And it's very doable if you do four PBRs in your first 30 days. Very important to do four PBRs in your first 30 days for new reps that come on board. 
okay? And then, guess what? Now the next step is you want to clear phase three, you want to get to ED. And you want to get to ED in your first 60 days, because that's an extra $750 bonus that could pay for nationals, right? And let me tell you what happens. Everybody that goes to nationals, when, when the first national pops up, when they first get started, guess what? They're going to be in the game long term. And as much as you can subsidize that, the better. You need, you need to squeeze every penny out of this compensation plan with every single rep that comes on board. And, and what, in essence, when somebody signs up with you, you are that person. You got to step into their shoes. Do you think that if you got started today, you would want to put your best foot forward to get the $1,000 bonus? Your new rep is you. That's how you got you to gotta imagine the situation. And the more people you help get paid, the longer they'll be in the business, the stickier they'll be in the business. OK? So that being said, um, what does it take to get to ED? Anybody know? How many reps? Eight. Four on your front line. We already got the four on our front line because we did five the first month. OK? Got five the first month. And then guess what? We're helping at least two of those individuals get to executive trainer in separate lines, which means four people join that second level, all right? But technically, four people in your front line, two of them hitting ET, that means four people in your second level, that's eight total people properly positioned gets you to ED. Do it in 60 days, $750 bonus. What starts to happen if somebody on your team gets a $1,000 bonus and then a $750 bonus sells their bundle and makes $500 or $400 on top of that, do you think you're going to have a successfully launched rep? Do you think that rep, once they get that money, is going to duplicate that with their reps? It all starts with following the proper behavior. Does that make sense? Now, oh no, it's cut off. Let's see. Uh, Oh, okay, moved over, thanks. <laughs> All right, good. So this is the second page of the, of the quick start, the game plan. Up here, everybody should be familiar with their REN number. I know this is very, everybody in this room probably know, but there's probably one or two people that don't know their REN number by heart. <laughs> you got to internalize your REN number. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be with you for the life of this opportunity. Too many people say, oh, hold on, I got to look up my rent number. You got to look up your rent number? <laughs> I'm not going to make y'all stand up. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Right? This is your, almost, this is like your, your like he said, your social security number, your EIN number, your, your number to do business. OK? And so your, your REN number is your username when you go to the back office, right? That's your username. And then your, so, your last four of your social security number is your default password. So when you go to vo.fivelinks.com, your REN is your username. The last four of your social is your what? Your password. And you have the opportunity to change it if you want to, OK? Very important, fundamental steps. So many people, I'll catch them, they don't, they don't want to bother the diamond until they're totally done with who got them involved. <laughs> because the person that got them involved skipped this small little step. They didn't even know how to get in their back office. They missed the bonus. They didn't set up a PBR in their first 30 days. That's when I start to see the, the individuals pop up. I don't want to see them pop up at that point. Does that make sense? Set your team up for success, all right? So now, in addition to the RIN number, can't see, it's a little blurry. OK, you, you got to set up, you got to make sure they know their, their website to send customers to. You know, there's some people that actually will give their customer 
their username and password for vo.fivelinks.com, not knowing that it's fivelinks.net forward slash your rent number. It sounds very elementary. Like, how could somebody do that? Yeah, because that no one's quick starting them. Over the last few months, we've had tremendous momentum. Okay? And what ha one of the things that gets lost when you have tremendous momentum is duplication. The right things, uh, you know, don't necessarily get duplicated. So it's very important that everybody knows that the, their online store that you send customers to, fivelinks.net forward slash your RIN number. Oh, and by the way, to make it more memorable, you could change it. You can edit it. <laughs> okay, you can edit it. Mine is fivelinks.net forward slash Tupac D. Why? Because everybody knows me as what? Tupac D. What do they know you by? Because I guarantee you they're not going to remember fivelinks.net forward slash L1234567891010. Yes or yes? And still today, I still see L numbers on business cards. You can, you can edit that. Customize your website. Add a picture to your website. Go through the steps. It's the small things that make big di a big difference in this opportunity. Now, the next thing is being familiar with how to contact rep services. There's a little chat feature now that's probably the best way, because most people are doing this part-time, spare time. You can't pick up the, the phone on the, at the job and stay on hold, yeah. right? But you can chat. So once you go to vo.fivelinks.com, you can log in and start chatting to get these questions that you have answered. And you want to duplicate that knowledge so that, guess what? Your team can get the answers, too. They're not waiting on, on, on you. You know there's this thing called a waiting game? <laughs> well, I asked my upline. My upline asked their upline. And everyone's waiting for an answer. Two, three days go by when you, you could have simply had, had a chat with corporate and got the answers. It's so important. It's, it sounds like, you know, hey, Pac, you, you're a diamond. Why are you talking about this level of duplication? Because it's not happening. We got to master the mundane. It's like brushing your teeth twice a day. We got to get, we got to be able to do this even while we're sleeping. Can you do a presentation if, the, if God forbid, the projector goes down? Can you do the presentation without the slides? Not a lot of people could do it. Okay? But you got to master your craft. Everybody wants to make a million dollars in five lengths, but nobody knows how to do the presentation when the projector goes out. Okay? It's, it's, it's mastering your craft. It's, it's mastering the mundane. It's ensuring duplication, not leaving it up to your team that just got started two days ago. Does this make sense? Good. So that being said, we also have um, the, the phone number you could use. Everyone should know the phone number by now. 585, what? 3592922. Uh, or you can email repservices at fivelinks.com, all right? In addition to that, um, you know, you want to, there's a report in the back office. You know how many people, are, I ask them, well, who's your upline? Especially when they ask me something crazy. <laughs> who's your upline? <laughs> I don't know. Who's your upline SVP? I don't know. I'm like, okay. You need to get, you need to go to vo.fivelinks.com and there's a, a report button. You need to click the report button and you need to scroll down to where it says rep lookup. Rep lookup. Click on rep lookup. Put in your RIN number where it says RIN number and back out the beginning date for that search and hit search. It's going to pull you up. And then to the right of your name, you're going to see upline report, my upline report. You click on that hyperlink, and it shows you everybody all the way up to your diamond. Phone number and email address. Say it again. Yeah. You're going to vo.fivelinks.com. You're logging in. You click on reports. 
There's a report on the drop down that says Rep Lookup. Click on Rep Lookup, and then uh, a search menu is going to pop up. You're going to put your RIN number where it says RIN number, and you're going to back out the first part of the, 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 the date search, right? Um, so you don't want, because if you haven't gotten started in the last 60 days, it's only populated for the last 60 days, right? So you want to back out the first one, just leave it clear, hit search, and your name is going to pop up. So the right of your name is a view upline hyperlink, and it's going to show you everybody in your upline. Okay? Now, buyer beware. Not everybody in your upline is active. Some people in your upline might not even be in the business no more. They might be doing something else. So you want to make sure that you have someone that's engaged in the five links opportunity that you're contacting. So it's very important to, to pre preface that, especially with your new recruits. Make sense? Awesome. So now, in addition to that, what we're going to do, we're going to mark off uh, our upline. You're going to write it down. You're gonna, you definitely want to know who your upline is. You want to write that down. Name, phone number, email address. Then, in addition to that, you want to go and find out from your active SVP, when is the team call? Now, this, this is when it gets a little choppy. Because there's a lot of ETs and EDs doing weekly calls that really you shouldn't be doing weekly calls. There's a master team call, and you don't want to get this to be like a job, where there's a call every night, and then there's no time to do this business. Doing the business is not getting on calls. Doing the business is actively calling people on the list, sharing the presentation link through your app, networking, things of that nature, quick starting people that came on board, doing home meetings, that's doing the business. Getting on a conference call is not really doing the business. Are you understanding this? Yeah. Right? So it's very important. So that being said, you want to make sure you know your, your team call information. You definitely want to get on the corporate call every month. Some people don't even know that there's a corporate call. I remember there was a day where if you dialed that number one minute late, you couldn't even get on the call. Who remembers when the corporate call is like, if you can't, if you don't, if you're one minute late, it's locked out. Those days are coming back. So getting the behavior and duplication is key because here's the thing. You might not need the call, but guess who's going to need the call? Your new business partner. And that's where the breaks and duplication start. When you say, I don't need to go to the BOM, I've seen it a million times. But if you don't go, guess who's not going to go? Your new rep. Everything duplicates, the good and the bad. OK? And that's why you want to build this business with real bricks, not a house of cards. Real customers, real business partners. OK? This is going to be a very boring training on purpose. Because we got to be comfortable with doing the boring things so that you can get the exciting paychecks. Who wants an exciting paycheck? Good. So that being said, also you want to know the date and time of your next regional event. Anybody know when the next regional event is going to be? December 7th. I love that. I didn't think anybody knew that. But you know you're in the game if you know when the next regional event is. That's when you know you're in the game. Give this lady a round of applause. She knew when the next regional event is. That's amazing to me. I didn't expect anybody to have that answer. So if you don't have that answer, guess who's not going to have the answer? Your team. Are you seeing how things can fall apart quickly? So December 7th. Anybody know when the next national convention is going to be? Where is it going to be? Who's going to be there? Are you going to have more of your team with you there? Who wish they had more people on their team here? Okay, duplication.
right? Now, that's the next national, the next regional. Now, here's a very important thing. When you're going through this quick start document with somebody that's new to the business, and it comes down to this one question, why? What's your why? A lot of people tend to want to skip that part. Do you know that that's the most important thing that you need to know about your new business partner? You got to know what makes them tick. So that when they start slacking off, oh, you know what? Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it to the meeting. It's raining out. <laughs> oh, that's not, you told me that you wanted to do this business so that you could pay for private school for your kids. You going to let the, the rain stop that? You told me you want to get involved in this business because you're working three jobs and you just wanted to get down to two. Are you going to let the rain stop that? Are you seeing why needing to know someone's why is very important in this deal? Everybody needs a reminder. Anybody need a want, a, want a reminder of what their why is? Sometimes you got to ask yourself, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Everybody has a different reason why they're here. And it's sessions like this that bring you closer to achieving your individual reasons why you came out the house, got, got in a car, got in a plane, and made arrangements to stay here for three days. Make sense? And that's the reason. And let me tell you. It's so important to find that, that out. And, and really, people will give you a couple of whys before they give you the real one. If you're in this deal, you need the deal, point blank. Whether you have a lot of money coming in and it's going out at a higher rate, or you don't have a lot of money, you need money fast. There's a reason. Yes or yes? Yeah. Or there's somebody that needs you in your family, yes? There's a reason. And that reason must be so compelling that really when you dig into your real reason why, you get teary-eyed, you ball out, you cry sometimes. It has to be bigger than you because we let ourselves down the most. Yes or yes? We make excuses for ourselves. Think about the gym memberships. When's the last time you went to the gym that you're paying the membership for? You're letting yourself down. Right or wrong? So it's very important. So you got to dig deep for that why, that main reason why. What makes you take? Let me tell you, my kids are still my reason why today. It's very important to me. We grew up in a very, very rough neighborhood growing up. Don't want them to have to repeat that cycle, right? That's a strong reason why. So in addition to finding out the reason why, now you got to get some goals, some, some more material goals. How much money you want to make? It's very important to find out how much money, what's your goal here? What, if, if you could make X amount of money next month in this business, what would it be that can change things for you? Some people, you'd be surprised. If I can make an extra $400, if I can make an extra $800, if I can, do you know that an extra $187 during the height of the recession, would have stopped half the foreclosures? $187. When I think about that, I say they didn't know about five links. You could do that without a team. You could just do that <laughs> buying low, selling high CBD, flipping your money. So in addition to that, you want to back you want to reverse engineer how somebody could get to that financial goal. All right, I want to make an extra $1,000 a month. All right, so we need to get you to ET, and we got to get you at least 10 people in the business every month. Why? Because 10 times uh, $20, is, is that's 200 bucks. But what's the open line bonus with ET when you hit 10? 1000 bucks. So now you have a clear path from the compensation plan. You better have that two-page compensation plan, right? So now you have the two-page comp plan, and you can reverse engineer what people need to do at what position to make the amount of money that they wish to make. 
And if that's not happening here, if that's not duplicating here, guess what? People are going to get lost and duplication will decline. And I don't know about you, it's easier to work with a rep that already signed up than to try to find a new prospect and get them in the system. All day long. So you got to find out, you got to do the why. So number, the, the green box is just the five links to success. Make sure they download the app from the App Store or the, uh, the Play Store, the legacy app that is. Um, you definitely want to flip the house, be your own customer. Everything that I touch, I want to I wanna get paid on. Home alarm system, gas, electric, TV, coffee, tea. I want to get paid on anything that I touch that's already on my budget. Make sense? Because that's not a bill. I was already paying for it before I got into business. So don't count that as a bill. Some of us will have people in your head that look like you saying, that's extra money from paying a family. No, you already had a home alarm system. Yes or yes? OK, so that's important. Number three, watch the First Things First video. Anybody know where the First Things First video is? My.fiblings.com, where? At the very bottom, that big blue bar. It walks you through a lot of what I went through, but a lot of people won't even take time to watch that video. Fundamental steps that need to be reintroduced to the system for us to have massive momentum. Okay? Now, making a list. This is a big one. Too many people are coming on board without a list. Without a list, guess what? You're going to forget about somebody and you're going to see your cousin walking into the BOM with somebody else. And until that happens, until you feel the pain of that happening, you won't get serious about writing a list. And let me, see, let me tell you, I've seen it happen time and time again. So build a list and let everybody know about the opportunity. Does that make sense? The person you're avoiding the most is your SVP. There's a reason why you're avoiding that person. Why? Because they may have a level of success. You want to have a little bit of success before you go to them. Well, they're the one that's going to give you the success. It's crazy how we psych ourselves out. And that could be hundreds of thousands of dollars that because you didn't talk to the one person on, on, in your cell phone. And they might not have enjoyed it. It might be somebody that they refer you to because they're in a higher income bracket scenario. Make sense? All right. And then so you definitely want to have a list of at least 100 names. Uh, my list when I first got on board, anybody want to know how many names I had on my list? 2,500 people were on my list. Also, again, within 48 hours, you want to help somebody um, get, get through this quick start training. It's very important because if this doesn't happen, the bad behaviors are already starting to kick in. Anybody ever sign somebody up, and by the time you even settle down and you, you're calling them, they're not picking up the phone? I'm like, <laughs> I'd rather they call corporate and quit and get their money back then not answer the phone, because <laughs> bad news travels too fast. Yeah, I put, I put my money in that thing, like, but you didn't answer the phone when I call. Make sense? So it's very important. So again, the quick start stops all of that. And then you want to text little things. Texting Atlantic City, all one word, to 55255, right? Texting five links to 55255. OK. Go and ET in the first 30 days, just to be redundant. And then the last box right here is the system. Follow the system, and you'll have what? Success. Success. And, and a lot of us overthink the system. Peaking someone's interest. Thomas Felder said it best. If I found a way for us to make some extra money together, would you want me to tell you about it? I don't know why we don't say that enough. How many people are not saying that enough? You're not saying it. I guarantee you, if you ask that question, you'd, you'd have more partners coming on board every month. Personally, we talk about it, but are we doing it in reality? If I found a way for us to make some extra money together, would you want me to tell you about it? When's the last time you've asked somebody that question? 
yesterday? That's, that's good. That's a good behavior. Now, if he did it yesterday, do you think his team is doing it? Hello? Absolutely. So that's, that's the first base. Now, I, was, I, got on, I got peaked at 3 p.m. on September 28, 2007. 3 p.m. How do I know? And we're overthinking this process. Some of us think it takes a month to get somebody around a baseball diamond. Two weeks, two months, a year. No, I was peaked at 3 p.m. I didn't even wait for the three-way call. I read the magazine, and I called the person that piqued my interest. I said, when's the next meeting? I read the magazine. I watched the information. So I did the three-way call. I didn't wait. How many people know that? When someone's hungry, we're looking for people that are looking for us. We're looking for people that are looking for opportunity. So I was already looking for opportunity. So I made the three-way call myself, basically. I got onto second base myself. Now, that's not everybody. You may have to introduce somebody that, uh, that you're peaking to someone that's already having success. Is that OK? All right, that's the three-way call. Our job when we get a three-way call is to edify the information and get that person to look at the information. That's third base. Is that OK? And schedule a follow-up call. One of the things I do to edify the information is once you get started, I want to spend some quality time with you to shorten your learning curve so you can have as much success in a short amount of time with the opportunity. OK? So now, guess what? Three-way call. That person is now hungry to see the information on third base. That's the exposure. That's, that's game time. OK? And everybody needs to put the sharpest person in front of the room at a BOM. OK? That's like payday. Yes or yes? OK, it's OK to, to you know, create a cycle loop. Like in Maryland, I can't tell you the next time I'm going to present, because we have so many dynamic presenters. OK? But I guarantee you, you bring a, 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 a prospect, you leave it with a partner in the Maryland office. OK? So that's the presentation is third base. That's I'm, I'm done now. <laughs> so once they come on the home plate, what's the most, the single most thing when they sign in, become a rep? You scored in the baseball diamond. What's the single most important thing that you need to do with the rep? Doing what? The quick start. And then from the quick start, you elevate it to the game plan. Because that's going to give them a daily regimen. Fair enough? Yeah. Awesome. My name is Tupac Derenicourt, Diamond Senior Vice President. Thank you for coming out.